it's the challenge of seeing, you know, getting, seeing what shape they're in and getting them ready to potentially play on Sunday night. Yeah, well, luckily, you know, with the guys that we added, you know, Foreman's got some experience in this system as his time in Atlanta carried over, obviously, from a verbiage standpoint. And so I think he acclimated pretty quickly or was able to catch back up pretty quickly. And, you know, Adrian is the consummate professional. So having him uh, approach this week the way he has is, uh, is encouraging for everybody. Stylistically, what are some of the things, like the traits that Peterson has that will fit into what you're about to do running the football? Yeah, certainly a decisive runner, a physical runner, you know, so he definitely fits in with that uh, aspect of our program here. And, you know, he's a guy that, uh, you know, is going to give everything he has on every play, and, and I think the guys are excited to add him. Both talked a lot about you can't reinvent the wheel. It's still going to be the same identity. Does Peterson sort of help bridge that gap from Henry to keeping that identity? You know, I think I think we're approaching that. Uh, you know, as unfortunate as it is, and as great a player as Derek is, I think it's the same uh, mantra that we've had here at other positions. You know, it's a next man up mentality, and we're fortunate enough to be able to add Adrian at this juncture in the season, and uh, you know, it gives us you know a lot of options at that position and guys that we expect to go out and play to our standard of football. So. The coverage of AJ changed now with him probably being regarded as the primary weapon by defenses. He certainly has had some production in the last few weeks, and, and that always garners attention from other teams. Uh, you know, I think that that is going to be a kind of wait and see basis. Uh, some things that you know we may have to make some in-game adjustments on and see how they're playing him. But uh, you know, we have a lot of talented uh, people in that room, in that receiver room, and so uh, it'll, it'll be fun to see how they adjust. As you want to stick, you know, with the system. I mean, Derek is a unique back, and your offense was kind of unique in some ways because of that. I mean, that would require at least some some tweaking, I, I imagine. Uh, from yeah, from I think you can place dip, you know a different emphasis on some certain areas, but I'd be doing this team a disservice if I jerked the wheel uh, just because of, of an injury. As great as Derek is, you know, uh, and so. We are who we are, and, and we're going to find ways uh, you know, to continue to maintain that identity. And, of course, there are going to be some tweaks and quarter turns along the way, um, different emphasis, but you know, we're, we know who we are. How equipped is, uh, how equipped is Jeremy McNichols um, to you know, be able to step up to, for you guys and maybe play more of a role on early downs if so need be? Yeah, Jeremy's worked extremely hard for us. All my time uh, around him, even the last couple of years, you know, as a tight end coach, watching him come to work every day has been an, an impressive example of consistency. And so we're excited about uh, Jeremy having an opportunity to, you know, get a little more exposure, and, and we think he'll do well with it. The distribution of carries. I mean, is that, could that potentially change from week to week? Is it going to hinge on maybe who is performing well? How how will that play out in your eyes? Yeah, you know, it's so early in it, and with having two new faces, it's it's difficult to uh, predict that at this point. You know, uh, I think it definitely could change week to week. Um, but, you know, we're fortunate enough to add a couple of guys there that we feel comfortable handing the ball to. I'm sure it was important anyway to have get Julio Jones to where he can start playing every game and full games, but is it, I guess, more important now with Eric out of there that you can have someone else as a threat on the outside with the attention on AJ possibly increasing? Yeah, I think any week, regardless of whether Derek were in or not, you know, we want as many of our, um, you know, top players out there as we can have them, you know, and and certainly, uh, you know, being able to have as many weapons out there after losing a guy like Derek, uh, you know, would be a beneficial thing. But it doesn't mean that it's going to turn into uh, some different looking offense, uh, you know, where where we are relying on one other person. So. Uh, we're excited to get as many guys out there as we possibly can. I'll, I'll see on Sunday who uh, who they tell me I have, and we'll be rolling. You had a walk yesterday because the team's banged up, but Mike talked about <coughs> testing Adrian and, and I imagine uh, uh, Foreman. Did you put those guys in, in pads and do anything extra with them? You know, we have a lot of time uh, left in the rest of the week here to be able to do some of that stuff and, and make sure that they're game ready and, and you know, uh, physically you know, adapted to what they'll be asked to do on Sunday. Like I said about uh, Adrian, you know, he's a consummate pro and obviously did it at a high level for a long time already. So uh, he knows what he needs to get himself ready to go on Sunday, and, and uh, I, I know we'll, we'll provide that for him. More of a mental or, or physical challenge when you haven't played all year and you're coming into a new team as well. What's the, is the, 
one or the other, you know, more difficult in the circumstance? You know, I think that's probably a better question for him of, of what's uh, more challenging. But what I'll say is that he's approached it in a way that he's, he's diving in. He hasn't uh, given any pushback on, hey, I can only do this or I can only handle this. He's, he's, uh, he's been all in. So that's been encouraging to see. Todd, what do Go ahead, Jimmy. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Rams' defense was already pretty good. Now they add Von Miller. What does he add to what's already a pretty good defense? Yeah, Robbie told me on the way up, I think they got Deacon Jones back, too. So (laughs) he, uh, yeah, obviously, uh, you know, Von's an extremely talented player, having gone against him a number of times. um, You know, he is a a very impressive player. But as you mentioned, they're a really good defense uh, before Von got there. And so, uh, you know, we have to be on our details. We have to be on our assignments. We've got to be able to, you know, get guys covered up. And uh, that that would have been true whether Vaughn were there or not. So it doesn't really change our approach to it. It's just a, another uh, familiar, very talented opponent. When it came to the usage of the tight ends in the, in the Colts game for that stretch, uh, what, what went into that? part of the, Was that part of the game plan? Or do you seem to get them involved like more often now moving forward too? Yeah, you know, I, th- I think those guys have worked very hard, uh, you know, to carve out their role individually. And and I think that there have been some times where the situation's presented itself to, to be able to incorporate them in the red zone in the past game. And, uh, you know, sometimes those are counter punches off of things that you set up and then you come back and you show the same formation and, and all that uh, kind of good stuff, you know. Uh, but I've been really proud with how diligent they've been in their preparation. And there hadn't been any, you know, hey, I'm not getting enough targets or anything like that. They understand what they're here for. Foundation of this offense is run the football. Uh, and then we're going to look for ways to complement that uh, in the play pass and, and occasionally get them out on free releases. So, uh, you know, I just tip my cap to those guys and to the work Luke Steckel's doing with them and getting them ready to go each week. Part of the appeal with Adrian that you're, you're getting a guy that, that won't force you to, to, to change a lot of what you're looking your do offensively, kind of what you talked about already. Is he a pretty seamless, I guess, replacement if he is the main guy? You know, I think uh, anytime you're you're looking to add somebody, when somebody else goes down, you're you're hoping to, uh, you know, not have to come too far off of your identity, right? And uh, with Adrian, I think it's it's just a side bonus, uh, you know, that he's had some success in some similar schemes. Um, you know, but he is, uh, you know, certainly a very talented player to be able to add uh, at this juncture in the season. So we're fortunate to have him, and, and like I said, Foreman as well. You know, he he's spent time with us before. We kind of know who he is. We've seen some successes uh, in spurts. You know, go back to the Cincinnati game with him and how he ran the ball a little bit there. And uh, you know, so so we're uh, we're fortunate to add those guys. When you have kind of like that committee approach, if that's what you guys do. You want to go with the hot hand, but how do you weigh that versus making sure that everybody gets their necessary touches? Yeah, I think there's some natural ebbs and flows in the game. You know what I mean? That, that you're able to um, handle some different substitutions and, and try to balance some things out. Um, you know, but we haven't talked about doing it as, hey, each guy's got to get a certain amount of carries or a certain amount of touches. You know, as, as the week unfolds and as we see who's comfortable with what and and things of that nature, you know, the that picture will clear up a little bit more. But right now we're just focused on getting those guys up to speed. And Tony Dews is working his tail off getting those guys ready. And, uh, you know, we're excited to see what they can do.